It was my first job at McDonald's that led me to appreciate the study of economics. I would notice that... <laughs> okay. Let's try again. Let's try again. I don't even know if they do that. <laughs> okay. Let's bring the personal statement out again. Okay, I don't know if that was a good intro, but I do need actually, I do actually need glasses. But anyway, so hi everyone, welcome to another video. If you don't know me, my name is Presence and I'm doing economic. Oh, email. Okay, anyway, I'm doing economics at LSE right now. And it's that time of the year. I remember when I was in year 12, that personal statement, like, I was obsessed about the personal statement because what I realised is that you can get all the nines, A stars at GCSE and then A stars at A levels, but you can still get rejected from LSE, UCL, like Oxford obviously, um, because of the personal statement. And when I realised this, I was like, okay, the personal statement is very important. I need to make sure that it's a really, really damn good one. So that's what I did. I think I'm very proud of it, which is why I'm gonna, I decided to share it today. I've got, a, I have had a lot of messages telling me to share it. So da -da, here's the video. So what I'll be doing, so what I'll do is I'll read my personal statement. I'll analyze it a bit. I'll give some tips. And then I will also share something super exciting that I'm doing in the 1st of June um, and that you will definitely 100% be interested um, and then yeah so glasses back on let's read this thing uh, okay the words are super small so I need to actually um, how do you zoom in I remember okay right okay so Oh, I've just, oh wait, <laughs> I zoomed in too much. Okay, sorry, I'm just like, yeah, I'm a uh, 200%, okay, sorry, it's really weird here, but it's just, oh, memories, memories, memories. Um, okay, so let's start. <sighs> oh gosh, <laughs> it's just so cringe, I like, actually really, not cringe, but like, I'm pr honestly, I'm very proud of the personal statement and I hope that sharing it to you guys will help you, um, but yeah, anyway, let's just get into it. So, it was my first job at McDonald's that led me to appreciate the study of economics. I would notice what I later realised to be known as the price anchoring effect in behavioural economics when, my, when new menus emphasised more expensive options and the demand for meal upgrades increased. I also enjoyed utilising its concepts within my practice of affiliate marketing, a hobby I had during my GCSEs where I was also able to see its effects. At the University of Warwick's Tater course, I found the integration of behavioural economics with public policies such as tax collection particularly inventive, as I saw how my study of social influence from psychology was used for macroeconomic purposes. This led me to read Akloff and Schiller's Animal Spirits, where I was drawn to the concept of money illusion, as it explained why workers would rather resign than accept a wage cut. A surprising reason for the rise in unemployment during the Depression and a scenario similar to the ultimate <laughs> and a scenario similar to the ultimatum game. By the way, please don't, please don't copy the personal statement. If I find you have, then I don't know, because um, I probably won't know, but you're probably going to get in trouble if you do copy, so just saying that, I forgot to say that in the beginning, but let's continue. Okay. Um, intrigued by the quantitative approach to decision making, I completed an online course on game theory. I enjoyed using the skills to evaluate Smith's invisible hand and Hardin's tragedy of the commons to distinguish between Nash equilibrium and Pareto efficiency to explain the importance of public policy. This was part of the University of Bath summer school assignment and I received a mark of 44 out of 50. Inspired by Rauhoff's direct way of disputing economic models in donor economics, I made comparisons between Smith's division of labour with the reality of my mother's work along the assembly line. Um, this is kind of private by the way but okay yes I do not come from a rich household I come from a single parent free school meal household let's say um but yeah 
Inspired by Ralph's direct way of disputing economic models in donor economics, I made comparisons between Smith's division of labour with, with the reality of my mother's work along the assembly line, which formed my entry in Ralph's eighth way to think like a 21st century economist global competition and was awarded first place. I argue that while Smith's theory is effective in driving efficiency, I believe it's insufficient in improving the net well-being of society and propose a change from the division of labour to cohesive partnership between, between workers in these manufacturing industries. Like Rawolf, my intention in studying economics is to prioritise the true well-being of humanity, not simply the value of GDP. <sighs> my focus on welfare developed through growing up in subdivided flats and meeting muck refugees, customers who relied on McDonald's as their night shelters due to poor housing conditions. During my internship at the IEA, reducing inequality was seen as less essential relative to ensuring overall growth. Yet after reading Stiglitz's The Great Divide, I am convinced that reducing inequality should be more important since lower inequality actually facilitates greater growth and opportunities. Also, while dis uh, sorry. also discussing whether the universal-based income is the best solution to the rise in labour displacement due to automation in the Royal Economic Society's Young Economist of the Year competition led me to further question the future significance of growth and thus the rising importance of other measures of welfare, such as the OECD Better Life Index, which I explored in Unique Digital. My essay was the best for the topic and one of the six winners out of nearly 1,300 entries. I hope to further my understanding of public economics during my degree to learn how different measures of welfare play a role in policymaking. Outside of academia, I enjoy all... <laughs> Sorry, I should probably need to take my breath. Okay, um... Not that I'm anxious or anything, I just need to breathe. Um, yeah. Outside of academia, I enjoy oil painting. The creativity gained from identifying the different meanings of art has contributed to my interest in the different schools of thought and their countless interpretations of economic affairs and concepts. I've grown to enjoy new challenges and thrive in new environments. I was awarded the Asian Fund's Highly Competitive Good Student Award for my diligence, determination and perseverance while overcoming personal hardship. I am eager to study economics at university as I believe the academic experience will offer many new intellectual challenges and develop my understanding of the dy dynamic world we live in. So, as you can see, that was my personal statement and the reason why I didn't really feel super comfortable to share it last year was because it had a lot of personal details um, in terms of like my background, my experience and um, just, yeah, where I come from, but now I'm kind of more, you know, open about it. Um, but basically, so that's my personal statement, and why I think, it, like, I'm gonna kind of do this for analysis right now, just share my tips on how I think you should go about writing it, and just saying, this is the first of many videos I'll be making about the personal statement, because personally, I really enjoyed doing the personal statement, um, I learned so much about the process, and last year, if you don't know about it, last year I created a course to help year 12s with their writing their personal statements, and this year, just looking back at the feedback, at the results, like, the feeling of, like, the feeling of just, like, for me, getting into uni has always been something very important to me, because, like, obviously I don't come from a background where everyone does go to uni, and I said that if I do get into, like, LSE or Oxford, I would be kind of making something to help other people. And so last year I created the course, I did webinars, and this year the result has been amazing. People have been getting into UCL, Oxford, LSE, just where they want to go, and that just makes me <sighs> so proud. Um, anyway, so um, I'll talk about what I'm doing this year, which is even better than last year, trust me. But before that, I'm just going to go back to analysing the personal statement. So one thing that I didn't really listen when my teacher kind of talked about writing the personal state personal statement is to stop like don't write not don't write like just don't write about your life story don't write about write about like the course you want to do um, and just focus on what you did and just what you that, like the course and the, the subject don't write about yourself and now as you can see I wrote a lot about myself. Um, I wrote about just my upbringing and a lot about my personal life in a way, but I was able to integrate it into like my course, my passion, um, and also really talked about like what I found really important. So as you can see, there is a lot of um, my personal 
opinions on things and what I did and just like you can hear my voice in it if that makes sense and I don't know if you can see it but there's the story in there so I talked about working at McDonald's for example I don't know if I'm allowed to say I worked at McDonald's but yeah so I talked about working at McDonald's twice one in the beginning where I said it was working at McDonald's that led me to appreciate the study of economics and then I, I, I repeated it again at the bottom where I talked oh back again because I worked at McDonald's I also had this experience and learnt this so you can see that it's it's like a story and it always goes back down to why I did it um, but how I see the personal statement so this is something that um, I'm going to talk more about in detail in the future so keep out keep out for videos I will be doing I think a personal statement series on you know how to start it how to structure it how to um, like stand out and yeah definitely how to stand out how to um, like how much to write and just how to like add creativity to it because honestly the personal statement part is just so fun once you know how to write it um, and if you have any questions about the personal statement if you want me to make any future videos about the personal statement comment below and please like and subscribe because this channel is about to get serious did I just say that? I don't know I don't know what I said but yeah anyway so long story short um, I think how I see the personal statement and after helping a lot of students last year from writing a personal like not writing a personal statement but supporting them in the personal statement is you need to have a story like okay let's go back to what the personal statement is about the personal statement is basically a 4,000 character essay where you're writing to yeah show your passion show why you want to do the subject um, show what you did blah 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 but what's the goal of the personal statement it's to really persuade the reader to give you an offer to the university and so you need to think about what they're looking for and okay because I didn't really plan this my goal was to basically share my personal statement um, and I, I just like once I start talking about it I can say so much um, because there's just there's so much that goes into the personal statement that you can really break down and look and like it's just it's like an art like I see the personal statement as a piece of art where it combines storytelling it combines a bit of personal branding it could it combines your your like your voice and your passion and your your purpose and just like also a bit of sales techniques just everything into one and once you finish writing it you just feel like wow I feel so proud um, and then once you get that offer you're like they see it too they see my passion as well and just yeah I mean don't use the word passion by the way it's kind of obviously cliche uh, another video idea um, but yeah what was I talking about again so I'm gonna keep all of that for other future videos because I need to stop myself from getting too excited about talking about personal statements which I know I am a weirdo yes and that's okay we are all unique right um, but yeah because I realized I can just go on for forever and I realized the video is kind of long uh, and my goal for the video was to share my personal statement um, so I'm gonna keep all my juices to future videos however one thing I want to say before I go is that if you're applying to universities like LSE, Oxbridge, just the top ones and you are looking for a really really epic program during the summer to help you in writing a personal statement then I've got the exact thing for you. So I am launching a six week personal coaching program. I call it the personal statement mastery program. Um, and it will be me six weeks with you. I'll be teaching you exactly everything about the personal statement. And I'll be, and I'll be breaking down my personal statement in even more depth and understanding exactly how to go about writing a personal statement from start to finish. I'll be analyzing other students' personal statements and just from the from the results I got last year, this year is gonna be super good. Um, however, I only take certain students and if you're interested, if you are really, really committed to writing a personal statement that's gonna be really special to you and really stand out to get into the top universities that you want to, then book a call 
um, in the link description. You can check out, there's a link to book a call with me. I'll be calling you and basically we'll have a conversation to see if you're a right fit. So yeah, without further ado, I hope you liked the video. Comment below any questions you have about the personal statement, what you thought about my personal statement. Um, please don't copy again. And also what you want to see in the future, maybe not related to personal statement. Um, and yeah, I just am super excited to start this personal statement series because I found it super fun and it's that time of the year again where we talk about personal statements. So yeah, until next time and remember to subscribe and remember to, remember to subscribe, to like and to support this channel, to share this channel with any year 12s or any students who are also applying. Um, and yeah, stay tuned and remember to book a call with me if you're interested to really take your personal statement to the next level. So, until next time.